This, for Hockney, we see him really at a moment of professional triumph, but also personal happiness. At this point, it's the height of his relationship with Peter Schlesslinger, who was his first sort of great love and um, partner. And we're seeing a lot of joy, I think, in this moment. Hockney sort of really relishing in the opportunity to be bathed in the light of the south of France, to be in the company and the confidence that that gave him. And, of course, Hockney, when we think about many of his works, a lot of his most successful pieces and his sort of strongest contribution is the study of light on water. And so when you look at this and the way that you have this hint, this glow of... Um, the sun as it's rising through the sky and as how the light hits the water with these incredibly deft, delicately applied, almost abstract brush strokes that gives you a complete sense of being in the scene. And the sort of jetty as it comes out almost invites you to participate in that scene as the viewer. Because uh, we're very fortunate across the auctions at Christie's and for us we take great pride in being able to do philanthropic collaborations. So. This is not only in the evening sale with the Tracy Emin that I'll speak about, but also across the day sales where there are three different charities represented and also in online. And that for us is very important at Christie's to be able to include these collaborations as part of our sales seasons. Um, and sometimes they present unique opportunities to collaborate with artists themselves, such as the Tracy Emin work that we have just behind me here that we're selling to raise money for her TKE studios in Margate on the coast of England, which is where Tracy Emin was you know, born and raised. She's subsequently returned there and she's really investing in the artistic culture of Margate um, with artist studios and residencies that she's funding. And the painting that we have here is an incredibly powerful work. She describes it as really her first work coming out of recovery from bladder cancer. And in that way, it's very poignant. And for me, one of Tracy's strongest features is her ability and courage to be autobiographical in her paintings. And this, like a cloud of blood, the name of the work, uh, perfectly encapsulates that. So we're looking forward to being able to present that piece. It's a great privilege to be able to collaborate with an artist like Tracy Emin. And I hope that that will see a strong result because all of the money is going towards a very good cause.